Well, good morning, everybody. This is another truck video, I guess. Um, I am on my way to Layman's in Kidron, Ohio for the National Women's Homesteading Conference. I'm super excited, but I'm also super stressed out because I set my iPad alarm and it was right by my bed and it never went off. That is the second time I've done that with that iPad and if for some reason the alarm just doesn't work. I usually don't use an alarm. I usually just wake up. My natural circadian rhythm. <laughs> but I had to wake up extra early today and yeah. So I won't be doing that ever again. Um, and then on top of all things, they're doing road construction on a Saturday morning. Are you kidding me right now? In the rain to boot, they're paving a road. I'm gonna develop a twitch, guys. Anyway, I will catch you guys up when we get there because I really don't like to video and drive. I'm really only doing it right now because I'm going at a snail's pace. Deep cleansing breaths, right? Um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys up when we get there. I'm gonna try to show you around. I'm really excited to go to Layman's. Um, I've wanted to go for quite some time and the kiddos got me this ticket to this conference um, back in, well, for Mother's Day. So yeah, I don't understand what these people are doing. I'm gonna get off of here so I can have a nervous breakdown in peace and I will see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody. Well, I made it. I made it to Layman's everybody and it is absolutely mind-blowing awesome. Um, so we had our conferences earlier today with there was a fermenting and butter making courses and then we got to um, have um, a keynote speaker which was Rebecca Rhodes and I got to meet Rebecca and Justin Rhodes. Um, if you guys don't know them, they have the Justin Rhodes show on YouTube. Huge fan of them. In fact, they're the ones that truly got me into homesteading to begin with. They're the ones I saw their videos first and they're the ones that really changed our lives as far as how we live and getting into the homesteading aspect. So getting to meet them was like full circle for me. And I, I will admit, I got a little emotional, I teared up, I made a fool of myself, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, they were absolutely wonderful and gracious, and that was such a highlight for me. Definitely worth the trip by itself. However, Layman's is a candy store for the homesteader, honestly. It is everything I could imagine and more. We're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. I'm gonna show you some of the things I think is really, really cool. Of course, people are gonna look at me like I'm crazy. I don't care, we're doing it anyway. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys in there and show you some good stuff. Guys, Seed, Saver, Seed Savers Exchange. Really great seeds. I bought one of these. This is a garden planner. It tells you when to plant things based on your last frost date and your first frost date. It's a great tool to have. There are so many things here. I couldn't possibly begin to show you absolutely everything. I'm trying to be somewhat quiet. Seeds. I did buy a few things. I got some more cucumbers and some beans because I love the purple ones and I don't have any more. And what else did I get? Uh, I think I got some of the French breakfast radishes. Um, and I know for a fact I got some kale. Over here. These ones. There's just so much good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do this on video. So here's one of the stoves that I'm looking at. This is a Millie, and with the warmer, it's, you can see the pricing. You can take these rings out so that you can, you know, have different size. It takes a six inch flue pipe. It has the warmer up above. 
They said this is probably their most efficient brand of stove. There's the firebox and the clean out. Or not the firebox, the oven and the clean out. Here's the firebox and that clean out. That's the statistics on it. Okay. I wonder if I can take this. Is this a thing? No, it's not a thing, but there at least show the efficiency. So this is a stove. The last one I showed you came from Italy. This one's from Serbia and it's actually on sale, which is a pretty good price, including with the warming closet. This is the metal. They don't have the soapstone. And here is it. There's the firebox. I kind of like that. It's actually pretty nice. Handles are plastic, I think. Oh, don't break it. Okay. There's the oven. It's kind of small, but it would do the trick in a pinch. Not cooking a turkey in there, but. So here's this warming box. And the top. And you can cook on the top of any of these. Look at the fluids on this one six inch flu. So and here's another one. It's a little bit bigger. It doesn't have the warming box up top. And here is the Pioneer Princess, which I still really love. Even though it's not as efficient, they said. There's that. taking little short videos telling them all the things you told me. And this one comes, you can put a coil on this one too. And it has a huge cooking surface. So I think with all the, I, I wanted it with the warming door up above. I think they said it would be somewhere around like 5,200 and then tax on top. Um, with the options I wanted, that's with the coil and the water reservoir as well. This has a big cook surface. Finally found my witch's cauldron that I need. <laughs> this thing is massive. Definitely need one of those. Check out all the good stuff, guys. There's the broad fork that I've been wanting. Lots of chicken stuff. Really nice nesting boxes. Here's some cultivators. Build your own tools. We have lots of Berkeley water filters. If you guys need water filters, these are the Cadillacs of water filters. We also have milking pumps, which is awesome to have.
Alright guys, so my day is almost over. We still have um, dinner here at the Dutch Kitchen, um, which I'm really excited about. Before I go in though, I wanted to quick show you some of the things that I bought today, including this really cute um, boho bandeau. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I got one of these. I always wanted one. I don't necessarily think I look the best in a headband. I'm going to wear it anyway because I love it. Anyways, I'm going to turn you around and show you some of the things that I got today. So first I want to give a big shout out to the National Ladies Homestead Gathering. Um, this was a fantastic event and I can't wait to do more. I'm also going to look into um, some of our local chapters and I don't know where you guys are but there might be a local chapter that you can look into as well. Um, I got this nice long wooden spoon. Who doesn't love one of those? I grabbed um, just some matches because it's hard to find sometimes and a spice bag because I always need these. And I mean, it's not like something that you can just go to the grocery store and buy. Um, this is great for brews and ferments and canning and cooking and all kinds of different things. You can even just use regular tea in it, make your own tea bags. So those are nice to have. I got, I'm very excited to make some goat's milk cheese. We've been talking about it for a while and this is gonna be a good starter for us, I think, to get into it. And then, you know, we can just blossom from that. I got the kids some popcorn. I needed some new measuring cups, so I got those. I needed, I, ha I don't have one of these, and I can use this for um, making my wines and my meads, as well as canning, so I grabbed that. And I also needed a hydrometer, and what are the chances that they had one? This is for my wine and mead making, so I'm really excited. One of the things I wanted when I came out here, and one of the things that I noticed the most on Layman's is that they have the most beautiful lamps and lanterns. And while I wanted like a $400 lantern in the worst way because it's an Aladdin and it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, I got this instead. Functionality, it was affordable. I like that it has the little finger loop so I'll be able to carry it around when the electricity went out, when it goes out. I mean, our electricity was just out for like 12 hours the other day it happens more often than not and I got some um, 5 8 inch wicks to go with it um, I needed this again for my booze making <laughs> but it's always good to have a little baster around the kids and the husband really like little push-ups so these are little silicone um, ice pop makers and I think they will love that adult child included um, I got a dough whisk um, I see everybody using them. People say that they're a game changer, so I'm excited to try it. I needed one of these little magnet thingies for my lids for canning, so I just got the set because they didn't have the magnet alone. I have been wanting a nice stainless steel milk pail for a long time. This is a one gallon job, so it'll be perfect for the goatee girls. Uh, and it came with a lid, so I'm very excited about that. And for all of you that like my bread baking, I have an entire new bread cookbook and I can't wait to get into it. I also got some gardening things. Hi guys. I realized that I never finished my video yesterday. I thought I finished it, but you know, in classic Kira form, I bumped the button and so it shut off abruptly and I didn't realize it. Anyways. My takeaway from Layman's, if you enjoy homesteading things, 